Let's look at our second uh, triangle. Let's see if I can do this one in a different color. Let's go red, I guess. We're looking at B, C, D. <clears throat> so we already know this B, C length. We did that uh, here. So B, C, is, it, it's right here. So we could do it again, but it's 1, 8, comparing it to 1, 2. The X's are the same. The Y's are different. It's in the uh, same quadrant. So we're doing an absolute value of 8 minus absolute value of 2, and that equals 6. Now let's look at C to D. D's coordinates are 7 up 2. So we're comparing this ordered pair, 1, 2, to 7, 2. The y's are the same, so we're really comparing the 1 and the 7. They're in the same quadrant, so we're subtracting. So we're taking absolute value of 7 minus absolute value of 1, and that equals 6. So again, we've got same lengths. So this one is isosceles as well, so that we could say B, C, D is isosceles. So to answer the whole question, are triangles A, B, C, and triangle B, C, D isosceles? Yes. Explain. Well, my explanation is all of these. this work, but it's what I've found is that we have two sides, and when you do these tick marks, that means this length is the same as that length. We have these two triangles that if I separated them, have these two sides that are the same. So A, B, C is isosceles, and B, C, D is isosceles.